。好，跟住去到第三十三条啦。嗱，头先嗰条三十二呢，其实你有印象呢，就得四成七嘅同学打班嘅啫，而家就有七成九嘅同学打班啦。嗱，所以呢，两常永远唔呃你哋嘅。下一條永遠簡單都過上一條如果你發現上一條難嘅話，即刻跳落下一條做啊！唔該。咁而家三十三條呢，係一條又係非常直白嘅題目嚟嘅。係有個人呢，廿四小時呢冇食嘢啦，已經餓咗成日啦。咁下面呢，咁啊喺佢血入面嘅有啲咩嘅成分呢？個濃度係會上升咗㗎。咁成條題目呢，考你三樣嘢嘅啫。第一啦，就係、是、血糖同埋呢個糖原啊嘅水平呢。饿咗廿四小时之后啦，究竟系会有咩变化呢？好，跟住第二个 concept 佢要考我哋嘅咧，就系糖原啊，加强尽究竟有咩用啊？咁其实佢就系一款咧碳水化物嘅储存模式嚟嘅。咁我哋就将佢储喺个肝啦，同埋我哋肌肉細胞嘅。咁揦住头两个逻辑咧，有啲答案咧已经可以清除咗佢啦。饿咗成日，血糖水平梗系会下降啦。而同一时间啦，你用完啲 glucose 嘅时候，你系咪会开始拆解我哋嘅糖原去放嘢食出嚟啊？咁所以咧，糖原咧都應該會俾你用埋去㗎啦。咁一般嚟講呢，十二個鐘嘅話呢，應該都已經會用晒我哋嘅 g y c r o g e n 糖原嘅。咁所以啦 ，B 呢已經 say goodbye，C 亦都會 say goodbye。咁得返 A 同埋 D 咯，就係 g u c a g o n 同埋 insulin 啦，高糖素同埋胰島素。咁啊，兩者呢，其實只係考下大家佢哋嘅功用嘅啫。胰島素就係降低血糖嘅。哇，幾時降低血糖啊？當你血糖高過頭嘅時候囉。咁返返轉啦，高糖素呢，又幾時做啊？佢呢，就係攞嚟挫高你嘅血糖嘅。咁幾時要挫高你嘅血糖啊？就係、是、當你嘅血糖呢太低嘅時候囉。咁而家啦，你諗下，餓咗成日，血糖係咪過低啊？既然血糖過低嘅話啦，咁自不然就要靠 g u c a g o n 去幫手。咁所以答案呢，就已經 A 咗啦。咁啊，仲有另一樣嘢啊。又係好似頭先 antibody 同 antibiotics 嗰條啊，有啲同學迷迷懵懵呢，硬係就會將 g u c a g o n 同埋 g y c o g e n 呢兩個字呢係會撈埋㗎。嗱，你係解釋唔到嘅，除咗唔小心呢個解釋之外，瞓唔醒咯，可能係。So let's take a look at question forty three. So if you still remember, there are、uh, around forty seven percent student get correct in question forty two, and now you can see that in question forty three, there are around eighty percent student they get it correct. So that's why I always say that the next question must be easier than the previous question. So if you cannot do the、uh, question one, move on to question two. Okay, so for this question, it's talking about a person has not taken any food for twenty four hours, starvation for long, long time. So which of the following will increase in the concentration in the blood? So for the options A, B, C, D, is checking the following three ideas. So for the first checking, one, two, three. So for the first concept, it's talking about the blood glucose level and the glycogen level after twenty four hours starvation. So if you do not eat anything, so what will be your blood glucose level? So should be easy idea is decreasing, right? So that's why I say goodbye to option B. And then for concept number two, the function of the glycogen. Glycogen is a storage form of the carbohydrates in liver and in the muscle cells. So what if you have a low blood glucose level? You need to break down the glycogen to release the. Glucose back to the blood, right? So that's why the glycogen will also be decreased. Most likely after twelve hours, all the glycogen will be consumed. So that's why option C also say goodbye. So that's why only option A, glucagon, and option D, insulin, for us to choose. So that's for the concept number three: functions of insulin and the.、Uh, So for the insulin, it can help us to reduce, lower the blood glucose level. When, when the blood glucose level is higher than the normal level, and for the glucagon, it help us to increase the blood glucose level. So when, when the blood glucose level is lower than the normal level, so that's why we refer to this daily life situation. So our blood glucose level is dropping. So that's why there will be more glucagon to order the other target organs to increase the blood glucose level. So that's why option D also wrong. So for this question, I would like to、uh, remind one more thing: if you do not sleep enough or you are just so careless, some student will really mix up the glucagon and the glycogen. Now I don't know why. Ah,、uh, they may be just extremely careless to uh, uh, misread the word. So be careful, please.